what is going on today guys so today i'm going to be going over the best possible attachments to use to have no recoil on your weapons within rainbow six siege first i'm going to start with the attackers and then i'm going to go to the defenders to start things off we're going to do sledge sledge has the pump shotgun and the l8 for the pump shotgun there's really not much you have the sights and then i throw a laser on it just to make sure that um i have better hip fire bullet spread but for recoil there really isn't much for a shotgun as for the l8 i always use the flash hider in the vertical grip this is going to be a common theme as i use the flash hider in the vertical grip on most guns however there are some exceptions for sights i also always use either the 1.5 scope if it's available if not then i use the hollow a site for the one time scope and if i'm not using that then i'm using the two time scope and then as for the pistol i'm running the muzzle break on it going over to thatcher now thatcher has the ra33 which i've run the two time scope on the flash hider and the vertical grip and then the l8 again i've run the same thing before the flash hider the vertical grip but this time i run it two times on on this particular one and then same with the pump shotgun the laser and i have sight on it and then the pistol i have a uh, muzzle break on it and this is going to be a common theme as well pretty much every pistol i've run a muzzle break on it um other than a few exceptions i'll run a suppressor on it moving on to ash for the G363, I actually run the suppressor in the vertical grip. Now, the reason why I run the suppressor is because me personally, I feel like I could manage the recoil good enough to where I could run a suppressor on it. However, if you don't feel like you could run a suppressor, like if the recoil on it is seems to be a little too much, then run the flash hider on it. However, if you are able to control the recoil, then 100% use the suppressor It'll help out a lot and keep you stealthy, um, which is, is really good for staying under the radar. As for the R4C, I run the flash hider, the vert grip, and then the hollow A. And then for the two pistols, I run the muzzle brake. For Thermite, on his shotgun, same as every other shotgun, a laser sight, and then either no sights or hollow A. For the 556, I run the flash hider in the vert grip. And then for the two pistols, the muzzle break. For Twitch, I run on the F2, the flash hider. They did take away her vertical grip. So now she has no grip at all she could put on. She only has a flash hider she can put on. I recommend only using this gun if you're really good at controlling recoil. If not, then I wouldn't touch it because the recoil is crazy significant. As for the 417, I run the muzzle brake and the vert grip. You can, if you want, try the suppressor out, but I recommend just staying with the muzzle brake to keep the recoil down as much as possible. And then for the shotgun, same as usual, laser with either no sights or a hollow A. For Montang, he just has the two pistols. I just run the muzzle brake on this, on the P9, and then on here, it's just a laser sight. For glass, I actually run the muzzle brake and the vertical grip, um, as well as hollow A. However, um, for glass, the red dot C is also really good, um, but really it all comes down to personal preference. Um, recently, I've just been using the hollow A. For the pistol, I run muzzle brake, and for the bearing nine, I run the muzzle brake, or I run the flash hider. For fuse, I run on the 6P41, the flash hider and the vert grip. However, the recoil is still really, really bad on this LMG, just because the LMGs got nerfed. So they're pretty bad. The recoil is pretty uncontrollable. So I honestly wouldn't even touch the LMG at all. I would really only use the AK-12. And the AK-12 is a really, really great gun anyways. Um, so there's no point even touching the LMG. On the AK-12, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. And then for blitz, he just has a pistol, which I run muzzle brake on. 
For IQ on the AUG A2, I run the Flash Hider. On the Commando 552, I actually run Extended Barrel and Vertical Grip. I run the Extended Barrel because I think that recoil is manageable enough with the Vert Grip to be able to um, not have to run the Flash Hider and, and still be completely manageable. However, again, if you feel like the recoil is too much with the Extended Barrel, then run the Flash Hider. Um, oh, and as for the GA A1, I run the Flash Hider and Vert Grip. For Buck, I run the Flash Hider, um, and then I always put a laser for the shotgun to have better hip spread on the shotgun. For his DMR here, I run the Muzzle Brake, and for his pistol, I run the Suppressor. For Blackbeard, I actually run a Suppressor and a Vert Grip. Um, his recoil is pretty manageable with the Suppressor. You could also try out the Extended Barrel. Um, but if you can't do either the Suppressor or the Extended Barrel, then use the Flash Hider. As for the DMR, I run the Muzzle Brake and the Vert Grip. And then for the Deagle here, I just run the Muzzle Brake. For Capital, um, mine is Assault Rifle. I've run the uh, Suppressor in the Vertical Grip. Again, with the Suppressor, I just feel like the recoil is manageable enough to where I could run a Suppressor. If you feel the same where it's manageable enough to run a Suppressor, then 100% run it and or run the Extended Barrel to give more damage. But if these two options are a little too much, then run the Flash Hider. As for the his LMG here, I run the Flash Hider in the Vertical Grip. And for the pistol, I run a suppressor. For Habana on the Type 89, I run the flash hider and the vertical grip. Shotgun, same as usual. I usually have a uh, laser, um, some sort of sight or no sight. And actually, why not throw a suppressor on there just because it doesn't affect the recoil at all um, and it doesn't affect the damage at all anymore. So throw a suppressor on there because why not? For the pistol, muzzle brake, and then for the bearing 9, I run the flash hider. For Jackal here on his C C7E, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. And then on the PD PDW9, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. On the shotgun, same as usual, laser in a sight, um, muzzle brake on the pistol, and on the shotgun, just a laser. For Ying, I've run the Flash Hider and the Vert Grip, as you see, very common theme, theme here. For Shotgun, Laser in a Sight, and for the Pistol, I actually run a Suppressor on her Pistol. For Zofia, um, I would not recommend using her LMG at all. Her LMG is extremely uncontrollable. The recoil is terrible. Even with Flash Hider and Vertical Grip, the recoil is still really, really bad under LMG, so I would not touch it. I would instead use her assault rifle, and on her assault rifle, I run the flash hider and the vertical grip, and then on her pistol, the muzzle brake. For Dokubi, I actually use an angled grip in a muzzle brake. Um, the reason why I use an angled grip is because the muzzle brake is enough to control the recoil on her DMR. So I feel like I'm able to put an angle grip on and, and still be able to control that recoil just fine. Um, if you're not able to, then switch over to the vert grip. Um, but if you are able to control it with the angle grip, then 100% keep the angled grip on because it'll help out with ADSing faster. For the Boss G, I don't really use it that much, but if you are gonna use it, then use the vertical grip on there. And then for sight, it's it's really up to you um honestly i would probably use the two time sight over the 2.5 i just don't really like the zoom on the 2.5 but I, again i don't really use the boss g that much for the smg 12 i use the vert grip and then for the c75 i use a suppressor on lion i use for his assault rifle i actually use the suppressor in a vert grip i just started using a suppressor on his gun and honestly it is really good. The recoil is still completely manageable and I have no problems controlling it. But again, if you do, just switch over to the flash hider.
for his DMR, I run same as usual, the muzzle brake and a vertical grip, shotgun, same as usual, laser hollow, magnum, just the laser, and the first P9, I have the muzzle brake. For Finca, for the spear, I have flash hider and vert grip. For her LMG, I again don't recommend using this LMG whatsoever. The recoil is extremely, extremely hard to control. I would not even touch it. Um, if you are going to use it, run the flash higher and vertical grip, but I really, really would not use the LMG. I would use the spear, if anything. Like, I'd take the spear all day over the LMG. It is really hard to use the LMG. Um, for the two pistols, I've run muzzle brake and shotgun. I actually, on this particular shotgun, you can throw the suppressor on there. It doesn't affect range or damage or anything, so might as well just put it on there. But really, you wouldn't use the shotgun on her at all, yeah, especially, you know, on attack, you really wouldn't be using the shotgun. For Maverick, I've run on the DMR, muzzle brake and vert grip. And then on the M4, I run the flash hider and the vertical grip. As well as his pistol, I've run the muzzle brake. For Nomad on the AK-74, I've run just the flash hider. She doesn't have uh, um, an under barrel, so there's nothing you can put on right there. And then for the ARX, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. Some people like to run the muzzle brake, and that works really well for them. Me personally, I just like the flash hider. But if you don't like the flash hider, then you can try the muzzle brake. And then as for her two pistols here, this one doesn't have any options. And then this pistol, I just run the muzzle brake. For gridlock on her F90, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. For the M249 saw, I run the flash hider and the vertical grip. However, the M2, M249 saw is also another gun that's really hard to control the recoil on. So I'd recommend using her assault rifle over the LMG. You can get away with using the LMG if you're really good at controlling the recoil, but most of the time I'd, I'd be going with her assault rifle here. The shotgun, I just run a laser sight, pistol, a muzzle brake. For knock here, I use the flash hider. If you're able to get away with it, I would try the suppressor. And if you're able to control the recoil with a suppressor, then 100% use the suppressor. Um, it'll make her a lot more stealthy. But if you can't, then just run a flash hider. Um, shotgun, same as usual, a laser. And then I actually run a suppressor on both the Deagle and her 5.7 USG. Um, just because it, it makes her a lot more stealthier. Um, for um, Amaru here, I run the GA8 on the GA8 one. I run the flash hider and the vert grip. For the shotgun, I actually have a suppressor on it again because it doesn't do anything of range or damage. So might as well just throw the suppressor on, um, as well as a laser in sight. Um, for the SMG 11, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. I feel like personally, the flash hider is the best to control recoil in the SMG 11. Um, some people might try different options, but I feel like the flash hider is the best to control it for shotgun. Um, and I just run a laser for Cali here on her sniper. She doesn't have any attachment options, so nothing there for her MG nine. I run the flash hider. For um, the C75, I run the suppressor, and then for a pistol, I run the muzzle brake. But really, you're not going to be wanting to wanting to touch these two guns. You're going to be wanting to use the MG9 as your secondary. So I, I really wouldn't even bother with these two. Um, for Ayana here, she has the ARX, which again I run the flash hider and the vert grip on. And then for the G3, again I'm running the suppressor and the vert grip. But if you can't control it with the suppressor, then always flash hider. For Ace here, he has the AK-12, which again, I run the flash hide and the vert grip, shotgun, um, a sight in the laser, and then the pistol, the muzzle brake. For Zero, I run the flash hider and the vert grip on his assault rifle, and then just the flash hider on his um, SMG here, the, the MP7. He does not have, um, well, he does have an underbarrel option, but it's a laser. He doesn't have a grip he can put on there. So you, the only thing you put on is a flash hider.
As for his pistol, I run the suppressor. Um, and yeah, for Flores, I have the flash hider and the vert grip on the AR-33. And then his DMR, I have the muzzle brake and the vert grip, as well as the muzzle brake for the pistol. For Osa, I have the flash hider and the vert grip on the 5.56. And then the PDW-9, the flash hider and the vert grip as well. And then a muzzle brake on the pistol. For Sens is assault rifle, same deal, flash hider and vert grip, and then a muzzle brake and vert grip on the DMR, as well as a D, uh, muzzle brake on the pistol. For Grim, I have he has the commando. For the commando, I again I run the extended barrel and vert grip. Um, you could also try out the suppressor if it's manageable, um, and or if the suppressor or extended barrel aren't manageable, then go right to the flash hider. Oh, and then for the pistols, I have a muzzle brake, and then for the bailiff, you can't put anything but a laser on it. And then finally, Rava. He has the Para 308. Um, I just have the suppressor and vert grip. You could also try out the extended barrel if you want more damage and if you could control it. If you can't control suppressor extended barrel, then try out the flash hider. And then for her um, DMR here, I have the muzzle brake and vert grip. For the shotgun, I just have a laser sight, and for the pistol, I have a muscle break. Now, moving on to the defenders. Starting off with smoke here, we have the FMG9, which I don't really use that much, but I do have the flash hider on it and a 1.5. If an attacker has a 1.5 scope on their gun, then always, always 100% run the 1.5 scope it will give you a major advantage as a defender. Um, for the pump shotgun, same as every other shotgun, just a laser and a sight. For the pistol, I have a muzzle brake, but I would not run the pistol whatsoever. I would not touch this pistol. I would always, always, always run the SMG-11. And on the SMG-11, as I said before, a flash hider and a vert grip. For Mute, he literally has pretty much the same loadout, except he has an MP5K. On the MP5K, I have a flash hider, but other than that, same deal. He has the shotgun, SMG-11, and pistol. Shotgun, laser in sight, SMG-11, flash hider, for grip, and the pistol and muzzle break. For Castle, he has the UMP. I actually think the UMP has a really low recoil, so I run the extended barrel. If you could control the recoil with the extended barrel, then 100% run the extended barrel or you could even do the suppressor. If not, if you can't control the recoil with suppressor or vert or um, extended barrel, then you can use the flash hider. And then I have the vert grip. Shotgun, same deal, laser. Um, laser on this shotgun. And then the two pistols, I have muzzle brake, but I would not use the two pistols. If there's a shotgun option, a shotgun secondary option on any defender, then 100% run the shotgun. Same with the bailiff, if a defender, has a bailiff as a secondary option then 100 percent run the bailiff because you could use it to make rotates make um, head holes feet holes etc for pulse here he has pretty much the same loadout um and so again i run the extended barrel and vert grip on the ump muzzle brake muzzle brake on both the pistols and then a laser um and no sight on the shotgun for doc he has the shotgun which again um, he actually has a vert grip you can put on this shotgun, so I'd 100% run the vert grip. I mean, I there's not even another option. Mine as well. And then a laser and a sight. For the MP5 here, I run the flash hider and the vert grip along with the 1.5. He has the 1.5 available to him, so again, if there's 1.5 available, use it. Use it 150%. Oh, and then for the P90, I have the flash hider and then the secondaries here. Um, I have run a muzzle brake on this pistol, the laser on this pistol, but he has the bailiff. So as I said before, if a bailiff is an option, take the bailiff. Always, always use the bailiff over the other options. And on the bailiff, I run a laser. On Rook here, um, the P90, I have a flash hider, MP5. I have the flash hider and vert grip. Rook is one of the very, very few operators that actually has um a two time scope on his gun um there's only i believe three two or three defenders that have um i want to say two 
defenders that have the two point time scope on an automatic weapon um, on defense, which is going to be Rook and Tachanka, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, so I personally, since the two times is available, I run it. Um, if you don't like the two times, then 100% run the 1.5. Um, oh, and then for the pistols, muzzle brick and laser on the Magnum at per usual. For Cap Canton here, I have the flash hider and vert grip. And then, as I said, if a one point time scope is available, I personally run the hollow A, but really it's all down to personal preference with sights. Sights is going to be completely up to you, whatever you like the most, whatever, whatever looks the best to you, whatever you work best with. Me personally, it's the hollow A. So I run that site on pretty much everything. Um, for his shotgun here, I run the suppressor, vert grip, and laser. And then for the two pistols, I have muzzle brake. For, um, oh, I just did cap can for Tachanka now. On his LMG, I just have the hollow A. There's no other options you can put on there. For his um smg he has the two times available to him on his smg so i do run the two times on there since it is available um as well as a flash hide and a bird grip and then for the two pistols i have muzzle brake and then for the bearing nine i have the flash hider now moving on to jaeger for jaeger on a shotgun i have a laser sight for his assault rifle, I have a flash hider and vert grip. And then on the pistol, I have the muzzle brake. Now for bandit, on bandit, I just have flash hider. There's no, I, on pretty much every weapon other than the um, shotguns, I would not run a laser on it. Um, it just leaves you too exposed. The enemies could see the laser. Um, so do not run a laser on pretty much every weapon other than the shotguns just because with the shotguns the laser helps out with that bullet spread to make it a little bit more uh, active manageable and then for the the shotgun laser as i just said and then um for the pistol muzzle brake for frost um on the shotgun i run just laser i don't really use the shotgun at all though i'd much rather use her um smg here and her smg is another weapon where i feel like the recoil is completely manageable so i run an extended barrel on it because i can easily manage the recoil even with the extended barrel um if you're unable to then just run the flash hider but if you are then 100 run the extended barrel or even the suppressor if you want and then for the vert grip uh or for the for the grip i'd run vert grip some people are able to get away with running the angled grip as well um, I feel like that's a little too much. I would just stick with the vert grip. But if you are able to run the angled grip as you know alongside the extended barrel, then 100% do that. Um, if not, just stay with the vert grip. Oh, and then for um, muzzle brake on the pistol and a laser in sight on the shotgun. For Valk here, I run the flash hider and vert grip on her MPX. On the shotgun, just a laser, and on the deagle, a muzzle brake. For Cav, uh, she has another weapon that has extremely, extremely manageable recoil. Um, so she doesn't even have a, a grip option and it's still really, really manageable. So I run the extended barrel on it to give it more damage. Um, again, same as usual. If you can't manage the recoil with the extended barrel, then try out the flash hider. But if you're able to, then 100% run the extended barrel or the suppressor. Um, for a shotgun, I just run the laser sight, and then for her pistol, you can't change it. It just comes with the suppressor automatically because that's you know part of her ability. And then, as I said, I don't run the laser on anything but shotguns. For Echo here, um, on his shotgun, you actually have a suppressor option, so might as well run it as um, as well as the laser. Um, for his SMG, I run the vert grip. And then you can't change his barrel because his barrel automatically comes suppressed. So I would just stay with the vert grip. And then he does have 1.5. So take the 1.5 always. For his pistol, I run the muzzle brake. And for the bearing 9 here, I run the flash hider. For Mira, on her vector, I have the flash hider and the vert grip. For shotgun, just a laser. Muzzle brake on the pistol and laser on 
or secondary shotgun. She's one that does have a secondary shotgun. So as I said before, run that secondary shotgun over the pistol. Trust me, especially, especially for Mira, because she needs those um, head holes um, next to her Mira window so she could easily shoot out of there. So 100% run the shotgun. It'll help out tremendously. For Legion, um on the shotgun i don't use it at all but if you are going to use it use the laser i i really would not touch this shotgun it's a terrible shotgun and the t5 is just such such a good weapon the t5 is is an amazing smg so i'd run the t5 all day um t5 i'd run a flash hider and a vert grip and the pistol i just run a muzzle break for ella ella is actually the one exception where i oh i actually have the flash hider equipped um I haven't switched over to the commentator yet. I don't play Ella much, so um, I, I really don't play her at all. So I haven't even touched her gun yet. But Ella, her gun has an extreme, extreme amount of vertical recoil. So I would actually try out the compensator and see if the compensator um, works for you. But if the, if the compensator is too much recoil, then switch back over to the flash hider. But Ella's the one exception where I'd actually run a compensator and then the vert grip. Oh, and then her her shotgun here, the extended barrel, uh, vert grip, and then sight. And then the pistol, just a muzzle break. For visual, I run the flash hider and vert grip. For the Bosch G, again, I don't really use it at all. If you are going to use it, then I'd run vert grip and whatever sight you're most comfortable with. For me, it would be the two times. And then on C50, C75, I run the suppressor. And then on the SMG12, I run just the vert grip because there's no muzzle option. For Maestro here, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. For the ACS12, I run the vert grip. And then he actually has the two time scope available to him. So I would 100% run the two time scope. Um, the this his this particular shotgun is a slug shotgun kind of deal so it it shoots you can kill people from an extremely long distance so that's why you have the two times available to you on it um he has the bay lift so as i said before since he has a bay lift run the bay lift um i'd run it over this other pistol all day this the bay lift um again helps out tremendously then we have Alibi. Alibi on our SMG. I have the Flash Hider and Vert Grip. Um, again, on the shotgun, Vert Grip and uh, the two times here. And then she has a Bailiff. So 100% run the Bailiff. For Clash, um, I don't really run Clash at all. I, I actually don't think I've, I've played him maybe once. Um, but if you are going to play him, then I'd run the MG9 with the Flash Hider. Um, this is the one exception where I'd run the mg9 over the shotgun just because if you're gonna have you know he has a shield or she has a shield um as her like primary gadget so if you're gonna need a gun you're gonna need something that has a little bit of range to it so that's why i wouldn't run the shotgun at all i'd, I'd stick with the, the machine pistol here um and there's there's this pistol but again i wouldn't run it um and yeah, then we have Cade. For Cade, I run Flash Hider and Vert Grip. For the TCSG, I have the Suppressor, Vert Grip, and the two times. Um, for the 44 Mag, you can't put anything but a uh, laser on it. And again, I don't put a laser. I actually only have a laser on the Magnum. If you notice, I've, I've always had a laser on the Magnum. I keep a laser on the Magnum because the Magnum has the capability to break soft wall after a couple shots. So um, just to keep that spread a little bit more condensed, um, I use it to, to put like foot holes or head holes with it. Um, and the laser helps to keep that um, spread a little bit more condensed with it. As for Mozzie on the Commando 9, I run the Flash Hider and Vert Grip. On the P10 Roni, I run the Flash Hider and Vert Grip. And then he does have the 1.5 available to him. So 100% run that. And then on the pistol, I have a muzzle brake for um, Warden here on a shotgun, a pump shotgun, a sight and a laser. But I wouldn't even touch the shotgun because he has the MPX 
with a 1.5 scope so i'd 100 use the mpx it is an amazing gun probably one of the best guns in the game and on the mpx i run the flash hider and vert grip and again use that 1.5 on his pistol i run the vert grip and then on smg 12 i run the vert grip as well moving on to goyo on goyo he has the 1.5 available so 100 run that 1.5 and then i have a flash hider and vert grip and then for the TCSG, again, I'm running suppressor and vert grip along with the two times and the pistol, a muzzle brake. For my, um, on the AUG, he has um, no, uh, like, under under barrel. Well, he has the laser for under barrel, but no grip option. So the only thing you can run is a flash hider. Um, and then the MP5K, he does have, it's the same deal where there's no grip, but he does have the 1.5 scope available to him on the MP5K. So I'd personally run the mp5k over the aug and then on here i run the flash hider um and then on the two pistols i run muzzle brake on this particular pistol i run muzzle brake and laser because this pistol has the capability to um break soft wall after a couple shots so i just run the laser to keep that um bullet spread more condensed for oryx here he has the t5 and as i said t5 is an amazing gun so i run the t5 all day with the flash hider and vert grip um, and on his shotgun, the laser and hollow A, um, along with the bay lift. I, like I said, always run the bay lift over the pistol option. It'll always be better, especially, especially with orcs because he could bust hatches with the bay lift and he could hop through those hatches if needed. On um, Lucy here, on the MP5, I have the flash hider and vert grip. And then shotgun just the laser as well as the pistol and muzzle brake for a rooney um p10 rooney i have the muzzle brake in or the flash hider and vert grip and then she has the same um she has the same uh dmr as dokabi so this dmr in particular i run muzzle brake and angled grip just because i could control the recoil still with angled grip um i don't i feel like I, I don't need the vertical grip at all. I can still control every coil angled. But if you have any problems using the angled grip, then 100% use that vertical grip. And then the pistol, I just run muzzle brake. Um, for uh, Thunderbird here on the spear, again, I run the flash hider and the vertical grip. Um, and then on her shotgun, I just have a laser. The bearing nine, I have the flash hider and a muzzle brake on the pistol. For Thorn, I actually think her gun is very, very manageable um, in terms of recoil. So I run the extended barrel on her gun to give it a little bit more damage. If you feel like you can't control the recoil with the extended barrel, then use a flash hider 100%. But if you're able to control the recoil with the extended barrel, then 100% use it to get that you know that extra damage and or you could run the suppressor if you'd like and then i run the vert grip now also she just got the 1.5 added to her gun so 100 percent use that 1.5 scope um on the shotgun which i don't use i have the laser and then on the c75 the suppressor and then on your pistol the muzzle brake for azami here i have the flash hider and the vertical grip on her smg for her shotgun, the um, 1.5 and the vert grip. And then on the deagle, I have the muzzle brake. For Solus, I have the flash hider on the P90 and then laser on her shotgun. And again, with the SMG 11, I run the flash hider and the vert grip. Then finally, on the newest operator, Fenrir, on the MP7, I just have a flash hider. Like I, I have. You know, like I said before, and then on the shotgun, he has the suppressor available. So I run the suppressor, the laser, and the vert grip. Um, he does have a bay lift right now. So I'd 100, 100, 150% use the bay lift um, over the pistol. Bay lift, like I said, is, is the better option over the pistol. And yeah, that is every single attachment on every single gun within the game. On, on you know every single attachment on every single gun on every single operator within the game um so as you see there's an extremely extremely common pattern with pretty much every single gun in the game 
I run Flash Hider and Vert Grip. That will always be your best option to control the recoil on your gun is the Flash Hider and the Vertical Grip. If you have any trouble with recoil, run those two attachments. If you're able to completely manage the recoil like it has an extremely low recoil re weapon, then run the Vertical Grip with an extended barrel or a suppressor. And then when it comes to DMRs, you always want to run the muzzle brake with a vert grip, except for dokes, I have the angle grip on. And then for pistols, I always run either the muzzle brake or suppressor. And yeah, that's pretty much the the, the general attachments on, on every gun. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. And if you guys want more content like this, then subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, yeah. Bye guys, have a good one.